Today we will see how to do image to image generation in N8N, meaning you have a base image and a prompt as you can see here. And based on this, you want to create a new image. Let me show you an example of this. So let's say your base image is a dog, like this picture, and you want that this dog is climbing a volcano in eruption, and you will have as an output this image of the dog climbing a volcano in eruption. For this workflow, I'm using, as you can see here, Flux1 Context Max. That is, in my opinion, one of the best models for the cost. It's like $0.08 per image generated. And before reviewing the workflow node by node, let's try another example. So let's say we have this base image of a tower like this, a building, and we want to have this tower in the middle of the jungle. So let me run this workflow and see what we have as an output. So let's see on every table what we have as the final output. And as you can see, we have uh, this initial image of the tower in the jungle. So it created a prompt and you have the final image like this. So let's go back on N8N and see how the workflow is working. So the first part, as I said, is for uh, retrieving the base image and creating the prompt. So this will depend on uh, where and when in your workflow you're trying to using image to image generation. But the idea is that you have two things. First, you have a public URL accessible online by anyone of your base image and the prompt that you will use for uh, the LLM Flux1 Context Max uh, that we'll see just after. But let's review what we have here. So I just uh, have access to this table and I checked when the prompt is empty and I retrieve the image description, the situation and the base image link. Here, this is a basic LLM node. So you are an image generation assistant and uh, you will receive so the base subject that is here a tower a building and i want to put this in a situation so you don't necessarily need this if you have already a prompt that is prepared for your situation but using a basic llm node can be a good solution to create your prompt so uh, you have the input here uh, you have the task to incorporate the visual details from the situation respect the base subject identity, use scene building language to describe environment, mood lighting and dynamics, and avoid over description of the subject. The output is one paragraph on one to three sentence, include keywords or phrases that guide the AI visually, and return only the prompt that will be directly given to the image generation LLM. You have an example input, example output. So once you have this, you can go to the next step that is image generation. So I use Flux1 Context Max via FALAI that hosts a lot of models that you can use via their API key. It's like if you're familiar with uh, Hugging Face, it's the same idea. So to use it, you just go on FALAI and you create an account. Then you come back on N8N and uh, you create an HTTP request like this. To generate the image, we use a post method. We use this URL uh, from Falea, that is file.run Falea Flux Pro Context Max to use the Context Max uh, model. You don't need uh, an authentication because we will use an API key. So to do so, you just go on your Falea account, you go to API key and you generate a key. Then uh, we'll need a header. So you specify the header using the field below. The first uh, parameter is authorization. You write in the value key space and you enter your API key. So obviously I will delete this key just after this video. Uh, the second variable is uh, content type and the value is application slash JSON. Then that's where we'll enter all the parameter for the request for Flux1 Context Max uh, model. So you send a body. Uh, the body content type is a JSON and uh, you use the field below. So just as a reminder, you can find all the parameters for the model in FALAI documentation. So you go on the documentation of the model, you go on schema input, and as you can see, we have all the parameters. So the only one that is required is uh, the prompt, as you can see here. So this is the prompt of your image generation. You have the seed that is an integer, so a number. The same seed and the same prompt given the same version of the model will output the same image every time. So we'll not use this for our generation. You have the guide and scale that is a float. So this is a number with a comma or a point if you're in the US. Uh, the more this value will be 
hi the more the model will stick to your prompt when looking for a related image to show then you have the sync mode that is a boolean so true or false so basically if you set it to true it will wait for the image to be generated to return a response and you will have the response as a binary file that will take a bit more step if you want to upload it again on a table. So that's why I prefer to set it to false. So it returns the answer of the request directly and as a link that you can use on a table. Uh, you have the number of image that is an integer, so a number. So here I'm using one. You have the safety tolerance. Uh, I recommend you to leave it at two or to set it at one if you want to be more safe. Uh, you have the output format, you can have it as JPEG or PNG. The aspect ratio uh, of the image, so if you want a specific ratio, you can specify it. And the base image URL, that should be a public link, meaning it can be accessible from anyone on internet. So let's go back on N8N and see what I filled with uh, these parameters. So you send the body, as I said, uh, JSON using the field below. The first body parameter is prompt, so you enter the prompt generated by uh, the LLM previously. You enter the image URL from a table that you can find uh, here, the base image zero URL. Uh, the guidance scale, uh, I increase it a bit from uh, the initial value that is 3.5 because I want the model to stick to the prompt and to the base image a bit more than uh, the default value. You have the number of image, I just want one image, safety tolerance 2, so this is the default value. Output format JPEG, sync mode false as I said previously, because I want to upload it on a table uh, just after it. And aspect ratio, you can change it as one of the value uh, that you can find just here. Uh, after this, we check if the image is generated. So if we were using the sync mode as true, you don't need to uh, use this step, but let's check how we do this. So to check this, you just need to do a basic get uh, method with the link of the image generated. You go on settings here and you select continue using error output. That means that if the image is generated, it will go to the success path. And if not, it will go to the error path and wait a bit and check again. After this, I just add uh, an update record uh, for our table. So the colon to match is a uh, name using uh, the name we had at the beginning. We enter the prompt that we created via the LLM. And on our table to add an image via a link, you need to create an array as you can see uh, with this. So an array is a list and uh, this array need to contain only one element that is called URL like this. And the value of this parameter is the one created via the first HTTP request uh, here to generate the image that you can find just here. You can find the JSON of this workflow for free in the description, so you can just copy paste it. Let me know in the comments if you have any question. Thank you for watching.